is the Lord. And so today we're going to talk about um, what's happening and how could we assist in curbing crime. I know we were here before, we talked about it before. Uh, so out uh, in different places, uh, we know what happened there even not only in the Virgin Islands, but in Chicago with this um, young lady who, who um, was in the parade uh, celebrating the inauguration of our president, President Obama. And then she got killed and her, when she got back home in about a week's time where she was um, on that canopy. Somebody jumped over and just pumped some bullets in her out of the clear blue. Uh, this is crazy stuff that's happening. And so we really have to pray for our communities. And I think that one of the things uh, that we need to come to grips with when we talk about crime, uh, Joshua, and you could bear it with me, is that, um, you could jump in any time, is that we need uh, to come back to the family structure, number one. We need to, as young people, not because you have um, your, your tits and you have um, everything else, your, your, um, your sexual organs functioning, and you could talk back to your parents that you go and get yourself pre pregnant. Okay, that, that's not how it is. It means that you wait until you're mature enough. Sometimes 15 year old, 16, 18, 20. Sometimes it takes you up to 25 so you can be matured. To know how to balance your checkbook. To know about W-O-R-K. To know about responsibility. Paying your WAPO bill on time. Paying your, um, uh, your, your lease on time. That's maturity. You're moving towards um, adulthood. And sometimes we drop the gun, um, Brother Joshua. Right. And some people, because uh, their sexuality is stored up, they think they can just go and, and get pregnant and then populate the community. And what happens with that, 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 that is anti you being pregnant, but you need to spend your time to get a mate in your life. Okay, that's God's idea for you. And I believe that every woman, every man that comes on the face of the earth, the Pastor Glasson here, has a mate for them, somebody who would love them. Uh, not that shock up with them, but some of who would love them for who they are and also would marry to them and take care of them and take care of their children. But what has happened is that um, we have impregnated the men. We have impregnated. There has been a generation of men who have impregnated the women and, and abandoned them and their children. Right. Some of them never supported them. They put them on welfare. And then the women go in there and try to with another man and he, he will do the same thing with them. And so it's been reoccurring because they never could catch themselves to know that they have self-worth and they're worth something. And so we're going to talk to you. You might f feel as if we're throwing rocks or stone, but we're not. If you made a mistake, lift your hands up and ask and say, God, I'm sorry for that mistake. But we're talking about to your sons and to your daughters that they do not come and walk in that way. And so therefore, I want to tell you, and so therefore, I believe that it is the family structure that we have to bring to bear again back in these Virgin Islands. We are a small little place. And if Bedlam rules, we're going to have a problem. So fathers, you've got to be a father and look for a woman that will be your children. Be in that home. Marry to that woman. Be in that home. And then teach them your morality, your spirituality, your education, educational virtues and everything release it into the house it's like a like a, a little university but you cannot father somebody and get someone pregnant in st john st croix red hook pnp smith bay uh -uh, uh uh no 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 and women you must not let the men do that to you put some kind of onus upon them and tell them hey when are you going to marry me call say that word okay i'll go take them to a church take them take them to your pastor okay and 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 let him speak some sense into them and that's where we have the breakdown in our society and then some some of them are grandmothers rearing them and also some of them are rearing themselves some of them have to steal even to to get by in the land and so that's why we have this crookedness in our community and that's why a young man could just walk up to somebody with a gold chain and kill him leave him with his money in his pocket and go with a gold chain that's uh, your turn I believe, and this is Pastor Gladstone and Hazel, I believe that there is, because all of us sound like, I sound like you and you sound like me, so I'm just going to differentiate. <laughs> I believe that what is happening here is pathetic. The same way we train our young boys, um, uh, I think that on our young ladies, there should be a standard of training. It comes from the home. 
I believe that I, I have five girls. I don't train my girls to depend upon no man. Right. I tell them they could be the president of the United States. They can be the CEO of companies. That means they could be their own breadwinners. Because when you have young women have the mentality to depend upon men, and because they have um, physical needs, they um, would uh, have a child for one particular person, a child for another person. I believe that we should teach our young girls that they must stand up for what they believe, um, both from a spiritual concept, social concepts, and the things that they have learned in the context of their home, stand up on those principles. Don't let men just come in and out of your life. Have a good self-esteem. It's important that they realize that if um, the young men move off, they can go and work and provide for their family, not get another man <laughs> to give you another child to do the same thing. You can work. Right. Uh, uh, I, I, all my youngsters, I tell them, you got to go to college. Get your, your, your master's. Get your doctorate. Um, get yourself together. If you meet a man that you only could give children, you be the provider for your own home. You don't have to drag yourself here and there, you know, because someday we might find that will happen. And we must teach our young boys to be responsible. Teach them is not a joke. And I think oh, uh, Pastor Ola, oh, uh, Dr. Hazel, and Brother Joshua here, lots of the songs that young people are listening to now, which is violent, which is teaching youngsters to uh, how, uh, how to operate in society, which is foolishness. Right. Many people don't go to church anymore. They don't go to Sunday school. They don't listen to their, their parents. There are too many busy parents around. I'm going to go pick it back up with Dr. Hazel here. How is it that we have our youngsters in the street killing each other for gold? That is crazy. Right. Gold, we have that. One guy was telling me, oh, Pastor, I believe that some of the people in the community want to take gold back to their communities because they fear that when the American dollar goes down, they want their company to have enough gold to trade with. That's why they have all these gold, cash for gold around America and around the Caribbean. Well, if that's their culture and that's what they want to do, that's their business. We need to teach our youngsters that gold is not enough to kill your brother and your sister. So if you're going to like um, those Europeans who they find the Indians with those in a little gold around their neck, why did they kill them? Because Goa was Columbus time. Because the book on their spirit has arrived again. <laughs> Ridiculous. I believe, teach our children value. Last mm -hmm. long, long time ago was killing people with Reebok shoes here in the Virgin Islands with mm -hmm. different brand name coats and so on. But thank God that we have uniform in our schools so we don't operate the American continent having kids going to school in name brand this and name brand that to kill each other. Now, Young boys disrespecting their elders. One young taxi man got shot down, you know what I mean, for, for what belongs to him. Yeah. Another man, let say, had gold on his neck. I don't know if he, he, he's struggling for his life someplace in America. Mm -hmm. Why should this community be so caught up with things that has no value to, to, to life? Mm -hmm. Life is more valuable than this, this gold thing going around here. I am against this gold movement. We have no gold mines here. I think we should teach our children not to go to these places to go and steal from people's houses to go and sell gold. How much gold yeah. could we have so? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you have a gold, a gold mine, the gold mine have a limit of so many tons of gold you can get out of it. Well, I don't have a new thing now. I heard this week that they have a kind of chemical now, you know, bacteria or something you put in the sea, called gold dust. Is in the sea and you get so much gold dust <laughs> out of the sea. I have a problem with the idea about this is one of the leading cause of criminal activity in a community. When I believe when they come from, from drugs and selling drugs on our streets and, 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 and ground warfare, the next thing is stealing from people's house homes. And they are only taking your jewelry. I have on television this week, they tell you if you buy a television from somebody and you have no trace of who you buy it from you from your friend. They lock you up. You here's in Thomas. Here in Saint Thomas, you need is to have a. Is a lot. Is a lot. Well, I hear it. 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 I h
and, the, and, and by the police department and the oh, news. Okay. You must be responsible and have a trail from where you're getting these flat screen TV from. Can I get a place in your flat screen TV to the Rovers because it's flat? You see before I buy a big old TV again, guy can't come on the head of it. Push the flat screen TV under the a tower and go and go the flat screen TV to sell. I believe the work ethics must be taught to a youngsters mm -hmm. that because of work you get money from work. That's true. Okay? Yeah. I believe it's important. Judge, what do you have to say about that? I, I think that's very, very, very important. The a point you touched on with having trails. I think that even with the goal. If you're going to sell gold to someone, they should require you to show some sort of receipt where you got this gold from. And yes. I think it would it would make the US Virgin Islands and even the world a better place because we must have checks and balance. And I want to say something about the gold thing. Many people they will go to Tartola and steal a gold in Tartola, come to St. Thomas to sell it. Steal a gold in St. Thomas, go to Tartola to sell it. How many men you can find out who is going to tell it? Right. They steal a gold in, in, in um in Tartola, go to Miami and sell it. So with this country will all get your name and and you'll get your social security and then get a you know camera have your face in St. Thomas. You don't have any international camera lineup between Tartola and you could steal in Tartola and sell it in St. Thomas. We, we need to link the police departments. Right. Link them. Oh, right, we think about that. Yes, sir. By the internet, we have an internet <laughs> system. Yeah, 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 we can do that. Link yeah. them so we know who are coming to South Florida, we still have the go. link. That's true. <laughs> link the thing. Uh -huh. Yep, that's it's right. Okay, good. <laughs> so we, we, we had some good issues. We, we are talking here about how can we help in it. And my biggest, um, if I'm doing social engineering, is that we have to go up to the family. Right. The family. A man and a woman in that household training their kids, giving that their children the, the morality of the Bronze family, the, the Richardson's family, Hazel's family. The, there is a, an educational yes. value. I agree. There's a spiritual um, value that flows from, from through the persons coming together. They carried on. And so we do not have that. The men in our community will become lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, we work from Monday to Friday, we drop our kids off to school, we pick them up, I see you on the street, they sling over your shoulder, and after that everyone sleeps in on Sunday. Yes. We go to shop on Saturday, shopping, we go to the mall, walk to the mall, waste <laughs> exactly. your time, and then on Sunday everybody's sleeping. Listen. Ray, we got to change that St. Thomas. We got to wake up our children, bring them to the church. We have all type of different church service. If you're early riser, you can catch a church service at 6, yes. 7, 8. Night on Sunday is the most holy day on St. Thomas. Catch a church man, just don't have children and they're in the house Good. and you're not speaking into the life, only their teachers speaking into the life. And you just mum, mum, if I like a mum, and you say, My God, my God, when you could just shout out, Boy, he can even know what you're saying because some of you are just speaking English to them. Sunday school is important. Sunday Let me tell you something, this is real serious. Um, um, situation that we're going through. We got to bring our sons and our daughters to the house of God. We got to give them, and you stay and give them a spiritual education as you have to. Then you know what happened? They, they, they shot somebody, whatever, feet, hand, or whatever. You're going to put up your house on bail for them. They skip town. Your house is no more. Your, your $500,000, your million dollar house is not yours anymore. Okay? And so therefore you can even put it up on the black to up to pay for an attorney. Can no son nobody there, they all skip bail and, and run. Okay, you're out of what you have um, perspired for all these 20 and 25 years working. Oh, and it was here on TV, a mother was saying, uh, and I think in Chicago, she said, her son is dead. Her another son is dead. Her another son is dead. Even before these guys reach yeah. 20 years old, three guys wipe off with gun violence. Yeah, and that's what's happening. You understand? Another lady in St. Thomas was sharing another lady. Their two sons were in drugs. He said, my my three sons are dead. I go, all of them running drugs, and your son's still alive. And the prayer they become a pray. My, I pray for my son. Yes. So I'm saying to you, some people, Take your sons, bring them to Sunday school. Yes. We hear every Saturday speaking. Yes. I didn't let to hear one mother call me and say, Reverend, come and pick up my son for Sunday school on Sunday. Yeah. People just think by having money in their pocket, 
mm -hmm. and by being educated mm -hmm. that that could make us socially adaptable and we are having a problem that we have money we have education we have big jobs and big houses we have a chicken in every pot <laughs> and still our children are dying and there's nobody to eat the chicken yeah so there is a a, a social decay that's right. in, the, in, in the in the society you say we have money but some people don't have money some folks always have money to bury the, the folk yes because after one dies in a family and everybody passes on the offering plate to buy the five thousand dollar casket that yes. the son should have bought for his mother or father that's right. and then somebody is in the next aunt, aunts son. went down to and we have got a bullet the money is left yes, all right so they got to either bury them free for by government or somebody you see so this is what's happening it, it is social chaos that we're having in our land because we, we not go, our hearts not going after god you see gun violence strikes randomly it impacts families of every race culture economic level no one is immune from this gun violence it can strike at any time gun violence impacts our community our economy and our way of life do you know when someone gets um is is uh, murdered or they get shot and they're halfway living and we cannot sustain them here we have to come up with the money here in st thomas to pay the, the the place where they're going we have to come up with the money if they're going to Cleveland Clinic, if they're going to some place in Georgia or Florida, we got to foot the bill sometime before they reach there. And then you want to know why the government can't put an increase on people's salary. Okay, this thing is impacting everybody. Okay, yes, this is what happens. That when somebody is, is struck by a bullet and you hear that they're leaving, they're not leaving for free on a, on a plane, jet plane. They never paid insurance for a jet plane. Hmm it's really the populace here has to scrape up the money and send money ahead and not small money big money because they're not going to see them without this, that, that money come the cash dropping their cash plan in their hospital for their doctors and specialists to look at our sons and daughters okay a funeral is not a cheap thing son five thousand seven thousand eight thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars funeral isn't cheap and then when we're killing the young man who does 15 18 uh, on the street and his mother has to come up with that kind of bill you know what's happening in this bit some of these young men even come they're killing the people killing another young man and they recognize the person who they kill is their family member and some of them attending their own family members funeral who they kill That's right. right because right. the father never told them hey you have family member in smith's bay and then you so crazy drive through with a drive by spray everybody yes, and hit your brother too yes, and you're there in your dark shades shaking yes, teeth knocking in the same funeral that you murder somebody yes, that belongs to you in your own family that's how crazy and hellish the devil is when we don't when our sons and daughters haven't given their lives totally over to god and we are the ones who did it the fathers did it the old men, I think as I said, the old men did it, corrupted the place. Yes. We just impregnated the women. We left them and abandoned them. We never supported them financially or with any values or morality or spirituality for their sons and daughters. And this is what we're doing now. We are paying the piper. And when you pay the piper economically, pay, uh, young people who do not have a God in their psyche or their economy. Hey, listen to me, St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Hey, this is real serious stuff we're talking here today. Young people who don't have any morality, values, or any kind of God in their lives, the young people are by themselves, could cause so much bedlamming in a community, and they can bankrupt a community. You understand? Because every person who get mowed down and they're half limping, and they're not all together deceased. Everybody gonna call the governor and say, Could you send my son out? Quiet. Could you send my son out? And he sees off and he says, Okay, I send this one out. Tell but if we have 20 of them, okay, when they get a bullet and they don't go at the same time, and some of them half limping. And we had to spend approximately some twelve thousand to twenty thousand dollars in our, out of our coffers to keep your son alive. Could you never teach morality? took them to church to be blessed by a priest a bishop a pope 
passed by all the churches you have and never brought them in or spend the time to say, son, we need some spirituality and we need some God up in our homes and in our lives. You have never done that. Let me tell you something. If this thing, if we continue to impregnate our women and not be responsible for our women and not be responsible for the children, okay, that we put in their womb, and we just let them loose, like rat wilders in the land, they're going to even kill, tell the prophets, I kill their own fathers in this land. Because some of them don't, don't know who their fathers are. Some of the mothers not even opening their mouth and say, hey, it's Jim, is your father. So they're going to kill their very fathers. And when they kill their father, the mother going to say, you kill your own father. This is kind of bedlam that we are winding up to. I could feel the fear in the land, but somebody going to prophesy and talk up to what's happening, the spirituality of St. Thomas. We need to do a full circle and we need to do a paradigm shift and stop passing the churches and we better come back to the house of God. Stop sitting on a tree on a Sunday wasting time just drinking yourself into a stupor. Okay? And inebriating yourself and let's come back to God. Men, we need to get dressed. Come to church. If you don't have no church clothes, come in your pajama. Come with a towel wrap around your waist. The men got to lead this thing back to righteousness value and purpose is going to hurt us economically in our government in every strata because where we don't have spirituality we do not have any balance in thought balance in economics we can do anything at any time because our thought patterns are not processed by scriptures by god are a sermon on a sunday that's how powerful this church dichotomy is what are we going to do with it are we going to keep running away do the same old same thing and then the, and the more we do it and our sons go do it and they're going to multiply more than the fathers because these young boys starting out in high school are reproducing and they can't support these young girls in school they're going to step it up and we'll have even more bedlam in these virgin islands if we don't have the men the older men repent to their sons and daughters and to the women and bring their children back to the house of God, we are going to have trouble in this land. Uh, somebody jump in. Pastor Gaston, you go ahead. That's so true. I think what Pastor Hazel just said with the family is very important. I myself am a young man, 26 years. I grew up in a home where my father wasn't there. And as a child, I went through very, a very um, rough, rough, life coming up and if my mother didn't take me to Sunday school in that area where other people were mentoring me and looking out for me and correcting me I could have been a, a mass murderer today I could have been a high-tech killer I mean my mind was so far gone I was so angry with the fact that my father wasn't there I love this man every time he came home I would be so happy and then when he go sad again so that did something to my mind psychologically and it got to the point where I, I i said to myself if i can't kill somebody it's better i kill an animal or something so i i was filled with rage and anger to the point where my right hand would move talk about anger and if it had not been for god church people who mentored me encouraged me speaking to my life i could have been in jail running drugs running ladies i tell you i would have been successful because i have the mind for it so what am i saying i'm saying that if i could make it you can make it the family needs to get back together mothers fathers come together and save your children mm -hmm those children who are just coming into the world now now is your time to shift the world shift the society start to train them from now speak into their lives tell them who they are speak positive don't tell your son he's a no good you're just like your father you're stupid you're always making me talk my mood is stupid. those kinds of things would cause your child to grow up bitter and angry so what am i saying i'm saying that you have to change the way you deal with your children yes they're going to school you have to plant that seed 
in them before they go out because what they're going into is other thoughts other things that are going on and if you are not training them from home and let them letting them know what's going on the school system is going to teach them the tv is going to tell them what to do the video games their friends are going to get the better half of them and i'm telling you i was there i was angry i could have I could have been out there in the world doing all kind of stupidness, but for God, if it had not been for God in my family, when things wasn't going right, I would have been gone. That's wonderful. Yeah, one thing I want to bring um, here is the area of politics and decision making. I believe that you're in charge of your home. I'm understanding that in America there's a great war over whether uh, we should have certain type of, of uh, weapons on the street that is that is supposed to be in the battlefield that we are having it in the context of the community. I believe strongly with the president that these weapons have no right on the street and I believe in a total ban on handguns. Right. You don't need handguns. I believe that um, if you're going to write, if you're going to, to go to the um, park or whatever they go to to shoot for game or whatever, we should have maybe a station where um, certain rifles are kept. You rent it out to go and and um, in, into the forest and shoot your game and you come back and it's given back to you. You might say, wow, that's wishful thinking. That's a possibility. Right. The fact that guns are everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, every week in St. Thomas, young people who are not responsible, uh, who have no background check, one guy shoot at somebody in a particular area. When I was checking on it, a guy from a middle school here in St. Thomas thrown out of school, middle school, now have a gun. He was average to be 14 years old. And he looked, I don't have enough money to buy a pen and a book. And, and, and people, the government got a supply and they're making noise. And the government only say you got to buy your own textbook to go, they're making noise. And the same guys who can't afford, who would not buy a textbook, have a gun. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's where parents come in to, to search the home, the rooms of their youngsters upside down. Something that are no parents. No you parents? Say, you say, yeah. It's, some of these kids yeah. are actually, as a stone, some of them are actually rearing themselves. The, the, no parents, parents, right? the parents, they are absent. Absent from where? From the house. Where are they going? No parent. They outworking. <laughs> they're out working. Jobs. Some, there are some kids right now in the Virgin Islands who has no parents. Parents, they just wear themselves. They just wear themselves. They they responsible themselves. They gonna do rob to send themselves to school. Yeah, to buy the uniform. Well, if you are like that, I suggest that you call us. Let us know. You want to be your they parent. Have, they have parents that they just have, they abandon them. Yes, yeah, so some of them on drugs, crack cocaine. Yeah. I mean, some of them into all kind of crazy yeah. stuff. Disappear, go. You know, so it, it's crazy. Okay, so this is what we, we this is what we're up against. Because I, think, I think what the church needs to do to, or um, more of what church needs to do, yeah. is have more mentoring programs. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. we, next week we'll come with a plan to bring one on this radio, mentoring. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we could do a lot on Saturdays before we come to this program, mm -hmm. and after the program, to create mentoring programs, like guys like Joshua and so on. We have a lot of kids that are in, um, in the university who comes to our church. Mm -hmm. And we could have mentoring programs. To, to, for these young guys to implant in these youngsters, since they're under, uh, they have direction already for their own life, mm -hmm. they could bring direction to other young kids and show them the way to go. That's right. Because we have, if we have gangs with gang leaders um, 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 instructing other youngsters to become like them, why can't we have mentoring programs with youngsters at the university you now who are and youngsters, you know, who are now. Um, and going, forward, going, going forward, forward in the rhythm of life, yeah. know where they're going, and the to encourage thing. these other yeah. guys, mm -hmm. even go to the schools. Right, right. Yeah. To the community centers, call a community meeting, ask the parents that we go to school for the PTA. We even bring our kids to the PTA meeting. You, you have to catch these young people from the cradle. Is Monday a holiday? Um, no, not as far as I know. No, listen, you have to catch okay. you have to catch these young people, G. At the cradle. Right. Yeah. You, you understand me? <laughs> you have to have a but the key is and then we have to, we have something to be to the church because some people just don't have time to turn around and do anything to to heal a community. Some people don't have the time. Me, myself and I. Yes. People don't have time. They don't understand that 
the generation before had time to pour into us the mother pens the mother brains yes. they, they, they had they had they could have said well i can go <laughs> take care of my business too i mean i mean a young man but I'm, I'm into us. <laughs> right right and he told me you want to go to college so bad he said you go to church yes you go to evangelical church he didn't tell your pastor you want to go to college no you 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 you, you directed no but he says he is a college or a school for three years trying to do a little thing at some place have a forward job and he talked very intelligent to me i said go and talk to your pastor tell him that you're going to college you find pastor hazel and uh, to help you that's right and what your pastor can do i will trip in yeah and and, but, and give you okay, so okay, so my need, number so we just need a, a counselor you, you could get to look at your loans to go to school well, our churches need to form you could get programs also oh, yeah, yeah but there's only so much church could do too but yeah. you gotta know ask, ask in the right place yes yeah sally me you can get a loan from sally me you're gonna get work out they have work out deferred loans where you go to study at school and study and you don't have to pay it back until you're finished with school that's a good help you know what, what, I'm, what i'm saying all our church if all the church in st thomas have a program whereby our youngsters are in school who says they're in 11 they're in 10 grade mm -hmm. what do you want to do when you grow up when the family is poor rich or ever, you the vehicle judge says tell them the stuff yeah. and let's say the churches to supply all the money to go to college mm -hmm. but put the youngsters at least those are in the church yeah. are in the church communities yeah. Let's have, a, let's have a meeting. That's right. What I paid in college in one in one semester was gobbled up. <laughs> you know what I paid? Okay, and is what right now one semester is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand that. So you gotta, but, 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 I, I don't know if you could um, really save. I want to see a saving multiple how to save for college during this time. What you know? <laughs> The factor. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I need, I need to meet a, yeah. an investor. I mean, uh, somebody, a mathematician. I, I, I share with some companies who have GoBa is a good way to start. Go yeah, that's, that's cheap change, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you can, <laughs> you can increase it. Yes. Um, but it's better to have something uh -huh. than nothing at all. Yeah, right at the time. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Engineer, how much time we have? You say we have four. four. We have four. Okay. Let's do a last wrap up. Okay. 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 Well, I'm going to be back next time. week, and we're going to talk some more about uh, crime begins at the home mm -hmm. not on the street mm, that's good i believe that crime could be stopped at the home right, because if it right. begins at the home it could be stopped at the home and mm -hmm. um, this pastor glass is saying this to you and it can be done by us repairing our social problems having husbands and wife again taking care of the youngsters with grandmother and grandfather uncle and aunts overlooking over your shoulder here is too small for us to be in this bad, better state we're in. Joshua, say something quickly. You're so true because the first crime in the world started in the home between two brothers. Ah, Cain boy, you're, and Abel. you're dead on. And we're going to show you how we can stop it and bring a remedy a remedy to this issue. Bless. Wonderful. So we thank all our panelists. We had a quite robust panelist, and we are streaming. You'll be able to go to www.all here's a ministry and see this again yes. on our making a different um, area. We're gonna put it up online <coughs> and put it to make a connection to that. And so and have your kids to you'll be to able to um, send the URL to your son, your daughter, and let them hear it. We want every son, every daughter to really hear this stuff that we are talking. So they don't have to make the same mistake that their dad and mama made. Yes, we made mistakes in life, but we don't have to repeat the same mistake okay so we are praying for saint thomas now father we release your strength your might and your glory into our homes Amen. Amen. we are asking for reformation what we're doing here as reformers speaking stuff yes that we don't normally hear on a daily basis so father we want to become reformers in the virgin islands to reform the heart the mind the mind mentality and the psyche and the paradigms of our minds and we think god thoughts in god paradigms and god paradigms in jesus name touch us we pray in these lands in jesus name anybody shout amen, amen. and so as we come down to an end i uh, remember you can go up online at www.globallifechurch.org and you can sign up on the calendar put your name in just one day of this year we ask you to pray with us and to fast with us and there's a list of things on the month what to fast and pray for just one day on some water some juice or some soup vegetable we have the whole thing what you can eat if you want to eat okay but you're not going to die to fast but we're going to pray that crime would be curbing our land we're going to pray 
we're going to pray for a revival, a refreshing, a reformation of the Word of God in St. Thomas. So go to www.globallifechurch, no, www.oralhazelministry.org and you'll get the information there on our global move of prayer. Also, Christian Fellowship Church, there will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. in Smith Bay with Apostle Gladstone Hazel, St. John Pentecostal Church with Pastor Dennis Estry, 10 a.m. over on the beautiful island of St. John, Living Word Family Ministry with Pastor Damas Eloy, 10 a.m. here on these beautiful Virgin Islands, over um, at the Linquist Beach across from it, you see the beautiful church there. There are no more at the Four Winds. If you go there, you're going to see some French speaking people. The French church is there. Deeper Life Christian Ministries with Pastor Agnola Martin, 10 a.m. in the Faith Gardens area in Content and Global Life Church with Pastor Oral Hazel, 9.30 a.m. And also Agape Total Life Center in the Anderson Estate area with Pastor Dr. Lucia Wood since Antar Tola, 9 a.m. Bethel Christian Fellowship Church. They meet at 11 a.m. with Pastor Franklin Connor in the Alcohol Plaza building number three. Visit Paul and Cowell Food Mobile, 5th Street. They can get your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. The other day I had some wonderful, nice chicken soup. It was so great. Okay, TNT, they like frozen fruit drink. I had some of their drink just about two weeks ago. Call them at 998-9283. Remember, they're up a Haven site, Diamond Barrel area. If you're working in that area, you're perspiring, all those guys walking on the street, walk over and say, I want a drink of TNT delight drink and they have them in different flavors you will have them in guava soursop mango kiwi my favorite is strawberry and then i'll make that for their pastor and it's good that's energizing so 998-9283-776-7581 also nightingale wings it's a non-medical home care business call them 514-5333 so god bless you from the group here at making a difference and all our friends on our twitter facebook those who are listening to us via streaming be blessed and also these um virtues that we applied about the family and about crime can also be released into chicago wherever you are in africa asia philippines that listen to us it can be applied there so god bless you we love you we are praying for you and we'll see you again next time right here streaming and next time here on wsta god bless you bye bye